hey guys i just wanted to show the uh surprise i was talking to you about in the last video um it's a 2001 ranger edge sport model with the uh 3.0 well it did have a 3.0 um it now has the 5.0 in it the uh, previous owner put it in there after he blew up the 3.0 Put the 5.0 with the 470 in it out of an Explorer, and it has just been sitting ever since. I guess he just never got around to completing it. Ran out of time, money, I don't know. But he never got around to finishing it. But this is it. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty clean. I'm not complaining for how much I paid for it. Um, and it's got a few spots, like on the tailgate and right there. But other than that, it's pretty clean. Um, there's the old engine and trans, all the old parts and stuff from the old motor. Probably just take all that to the scrap yard and get some money out of it because it's pretty much worthless anyways. Um, the interior isn't too bad. It just needs cleaned up. The seats obviously are pretty torn up, which that's not a really big deal. I mean, it's pretty common. I'll just try to find another set of decent seats or maybe put a set of bucket seats in here like my other Ranger and do the Explorer Center console. It does have the uh, the vinyl flooring, which I thought that's kind of nice. Um, power windows, locks, all that stuff. It doesn't have a radio, which that's not really a big deal. Uh, it's got the dark interior, which I like. Better steering wheel. I think the truck itself has 201,000 on it so it's about 60 or so thousand miles less than the other Ranger but this one is an edge model so it has the torsion style suspension on it so the engine and trans and everything bolt bolted right up didn't need any adapters or anything like that now the hard part I'm gonna have to do or figure out is how I'm gonna run the fuel rails or the fuel lines, which I may be able to hook the factory hard line up to the the line that goes into the fuel rails and at least you know the pressure line, and then take the return line and just run a hose all the way back to the tank and have it feeding back into the tank since it's not really uh, high pressure like the uh, the end line is um another thing i'm about to figure out is some of the wiring stuff i know i'm probably gonna have issues with it um yeah, other than that it's pretty much already done i mean i just gotta add a few accessories i mean the intake some ac stuff i need to put a radiator in it but i'm only just gonna try to see if i can get it to fire up then we'll go from there. Um, I think he said it does need a drive shaft. The drive shaft is not there. So I may try to see if I have some of the other ones sitting in my storage building that might work for it. If not, I'll just, maybe I'll try to take this one and get it chopped down or something to size and see if I can get that to work. But I plan on keeping a little series of videos on this truck as well as the uh, black truck and have just two of them going since I know there's a lot of guys that want to know how to do the 2001 and up because I know the wiring stuff's slightly different and they're a little bit harder to do and there's not as much information on them as there is the 94s through the 2000 models so we'll see how this thing goes and I'll keep you guys updated on it so thanks for watching